Well, that was stupid. My microphone was uh, disconnected because of my fucking PS4 controller. Great. Anyway, so <laughs> great start. Good omen. And stat. There we go. Hi, everyone. Are you saying something you think you need? No. I can see it being red in the mixer. Please. I beg you. Now, if you really wanted to fuck with me, you could say, hey, while well, the game's not on the screen right now. Which, which, uh, it... It totally is. Trust me. <laughs> Anywho. We're back in the fucking Chrysler building. Once a fucking again. <laughs> Sh shut up, Lacan. I'm sure I'll be fine. What's the worst that can happen? It's just the, it's just the floor twenty boss. Seriously? Holy shit, I guess that's what levels do to, to, to All right, cool. <laughs> that was uh quicker than I expected. Oh, well good news everyone, we beat Parasite Eve. We can go home. Then uh boot up the old Parasite Eve 2. ISO. Damn, who knew that if you went in at an appropriate level, you'd be able to actually do the content? Still, though, we've got 57 more floors to go, so... If I do get new emotes, I should have them all have, like, the most fucking exhausted expressions on their face. There's a sticker I've been using in one of the servers that I'm in that's just... I went to fucking Carnegie Hall, didn't I? <laughs> There's a sticker I've been using in one of the servers I'm in that's just, uh... Marina Ismail with this fucking disgusted and exhausted expression. It's perfect.
Oh, and uh, regarding my controller, as you may have guessed earlier, the problem has not been solved. I am uh, kind of doing a very jank ass fix for it. I performed an analog adjustment on my controller, by which I mean I'm forcefully holding the cable in place with one of my fingers as I hold it incredibly uncomfortably. Oh, wait, you're not the guy I want to talk to. Get the hell out of here. I think I can dump this in here, right? Because if I have the Chrysler key too, that just means I can carry, I can go all the way up there now. Dump you in there. Do I need those tools? I think I'm good. I'm not using the grenade launchers. In fact, I'm just going to stick with Eve's nuts, so I'm just going to stick every other gun in there. <laughs> oh, by the way... I've been playing this game off stream, so you may notice a couple of things are a little, a little jank up there. Don't worry about that. That just means I used a. I accidentally turned on Bluetooth on my controller. Even though it's not helping. Oh, for the love of God. Okay. I think I'm only going to keep one change of equipment so I could abuse the armor thing if I have to. I'd rather not, but if it comes down to it, I'm not <laughs> I'm not above doing that shit. Oh wait, it's upstairs. It's <laughs> it's been a hot minute since I've done anything except kill snakes. I've been eating snakes and feeding on them, using them for experience points because they're apparently more exp efficient. If you did the thing that I did, which you shouldn't do. about that though although I'm not sure I've been thinking about how I'm going to be streaming after I finish Parasite Eve because after this the, the top priority is doing the stalker stream because that's the follower goal that we hit and we just hit the subscriber goal, which means I'm going to be playing Outer Wilds. So... How do I reconcile that with the four VNs I've been planning to play as well? I guess it'll depend on what I feel like playing, I guess. Did I say Ace Combat 2? No, I did not lock on. You need to get your hearing checked.
I get the feeling I'm going to be horribly filtered at some point again. And I don't know how I'm going to deal with that, because... <laughs> Damn. You said, and I quote, I will be playing Ace Combat 2 before Danganronpa V3. I, I don't think I said that at any point whatsoever. Look, I know I've been trying to stall in playing V3, but... Oh, great. It's all of these fucking corridors again. <laughs> They really made like five different screens and they were like, yep, that's it. That's a wrap. Son of a bitch. What are we fighting on this floor? It's gonna be something fucking awful. Oh my fucking god! Your Honor, this man has been guilty of weaving a tissue of litanies. What is this legal jargon? What the fuck? It's a reference to Fry and Lori. How old are you? Although I say that, but you know, I was actually gonna bring up. I was browsing through Instagram today. And it's embarrassing how much that fucking website feels like Facebook masquerading itself as like a Tumblr or Instagram. I'm not fucking Tumblr or Twitter. Tumblr or Twitter. <laughs> Using Instagram has rotted my brain. Says the guy who watched the original music is from the 70s. Are you a fucking fossil if you watch Night of the Living Dead? Is that where the goalpost is now? Hell, I think a couple of years ago, fucking unreleased George Romero film got released. So, like, are, are you old if you watch it? Oh, you're gonna ask me something? But you forgot? Oh my fucking god! Okay, blue cheese option, go! nothing against old things well good 
Okay, I went from 2397 to 2324. That's... Eh. It, it could be worse. Holy fucking shit. Might as well start using these medicines, huh? Yeah, so now I'm using the controller on, on Bluetooth connection, so there might be some slight input delay. So if I start moving all jankily, that's probably why. Or else it will suddenly turn off. I don't know what it is about this controller and its connection to, to my computer, but it's kind of shit. Never gave you delay the why on the shit. I don't believe that you didn't get delay on Bluetooth. I don't believe you. I think encountering those snakes is optimal because they're so easy to kill and they give a lot of VXP. Wires going bad? Yeah, I think so too. But I don't want to buy another wire. <laughs> I think I'm at a comfortable enough pace that I should be able to do the rest of the tower tonight. If I'm very, very careful. Lock on, if that's the case, I feel very sorry for whoever you played games with online. I think they just don't have the heart to tell you. I feel the difference when I play with a fucking Bluetooth controller. It's, it, it sucks sometimes. Like, sometimes, yeah, it's all right for what it is, but, ooh, man, the Bluetooth controller will fucking disappoint you at the worst of times. You don't play anything online other than Genshin? Oh, then, of course, nobody gives a shit. <laughs> now, what was I going to say? Uh, 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 oh, oh, right, uh, new channel announcement. I have temporarily suspended the, uh, the turn me into a girl redemption option. But to compensate, I have made the turn me into a clown 
10,000 points cheaper. Make of that information what you will. I don't like this thing. Now make it another 10k cheaper. Riz haggling over here. <laughs> this is a shakedown. <laughs> This is floor 23, if I remember correctly, right? Ah, shit, here we go. Piece of equipment earlier. I should check what bonuses it had. Blind immunity. Shit. Plus, it has better base stats. Fifty-five, sixty-one, thirty. Shit. It's base stats aren't technically but well, I, mean, I guess you could argue that they're better overall. It just has slightly lower base defense. I could just munch it. I do have a super tool, so I could just straight up just eat it. If that becomes a problem, I might just do it. Or well, there's one stake, there's at least two more. Confucius said that or something. Are those supposed to be Ochus? Like, in effect, that's what they are, but I, I meant more in, like... No, I mean, in effect, they're supposed to be Ochus, but, like... I'm also wondering now, what are those supposed to actually be? Plants don't have mitochondria, right? Or do they? Fuck, I failed biology. That's actually a lie. Uh, your dear streamer actually failed chemistry once. That's also a lie. He technically only got a D on it, which isn't failing, but is also very concerning. <laughs>
leveling up at a pretty good pace now. If I was insane, I would have waited until I grinded up to level 32. 34. Grip, the kind of guy who puts Cayenne in his meth as a stylistic choice. <laughs> ah! Wire! Oh shit, it's just out of my range? No shit. <laughs> so, here's the thought process of what I was going to do tonight. Originally, I was going to stream the other endings to Radical Dreamers. But then I'm like... That's just going to postpone me doing Parasite Eve, and that's going to make me want to do more grinding in Parasite Eve, and if I grind in Parasite Eve, I can't grind for Primogems and Genshin so I can roll Furina, and I really want Furina! care if you get her first. I want her. Period. <laughs> I want the stupid lady with the silly hat. I'm still going to call her that in spite of knowing what her story is now. It's what she would want. The most based Archon is the one that isn't an Archon at all. Pockets to carry more items, huh? Take this medicine. It's a fucking rocket launcher. <laughs> Sooner or later, I'm going to have to do something about those uh, spare equipment. I'm going to have to decide what I'm going to vore. She tricked herself, tricked the conceptual seat in heaven, all so she could put things the way they were. Yeah. Th that's probably... I said that her, the previous expansion's god was the most benevolent, but... She just got upstaged. Fitting.
even at the cost of her leftover self-trauma and wanting to Shinji herself? What does wanting to Shinji herself mean? Explain further, Lock-On. Not getting in the cockpit? <laughs> Master Reader would come with those redhead. Unfortunately, I don't think Fontaine has any redheads. In fact, kind of think of it, Genshin has very few redheads in general. What's up with that? Hey, don't let me in with Aya. She's the degenerate here. Yeah, of course it's a mark against it. Am I going in circles? Nah, it's too early for that. No shit. <laughs> I only I can only think of one red hair one specifically red haired character in Genshin. The rest are like various shades of ginger. Now, a question for you watching this game right now. Would Aya be better as a redhead or as a blonde? Or as she is, rather. Nilu? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I was thinking of Diluc, but uh, yeah, Nilu too. And she was plot relevant for like five minutes. difficult to imagine her any other way. Yeah. I feel like they caught lightning in the bottle with this design. If we talk about red-haired late 90s, early 2000s gun-based survival horror heroines, Dino Crisis, I forget. What is her name? Am I thinking of Regina or something else? But also, I'm not fucking playing Dino Crisis. <gasps> it is a fucking good thing I save seated. Oh. <laughs> that hurt. That is hella XP, though. Wait, why did they kick me out of the room? What the fuck? <laughs> oh. 
Okay. You haven't played Dino Crisis, but people keep saying it's good. All I've heard is that Dino Crisis is Resident Evil with dinosaurs. <laughs> Which is funny to me because when I think Resident Evil with dinosaurs, <laughs> my brain has been tainted by the fact that I played Blue Stinger before Dino Crisis. <laughs> Because in Blue Stinger, it is literally alien dinosaur DNA turning people into zombies. Hey, Fur. We're currently on floor 25? I, I don't remember. I've already lost track. Lock on is... Is that what I think it is? It's not Illbleed. My guess was going to be, is it that Christmas song from Blue Stinger? Or is it the actual theme song of Blue Stinger? Which... I'm still <laughs> weirded out by the fact that Blue Stinger, the, the vocal theme, the one that plays in the end, is done by the same musician who did the, the theme song for the Big O. Like, I believe his name is... Uh, Rui Nagai. Which... I'm positive that's him. It, it's just one of those huh, small world things. Although, that actually reminds me. One of the horror games, specifically survival horror games, that I've been meaning to play is uh, Deep Fear. Not to be confused with Cold Fear. Uh, because the soundtrack for Deep Fear was done by Kenji Kawai, who is known for a lot of things. It, like, the more I think about it, I'm like, hmm. I can't actually particularly point out one thing that he's done that stands out above all the other stuff he's done because he does a lot of music like the thing he's most known for in mecha anime specifically which is incredibly specific for what he does is probably double o gundam And apparently he's worked on the soundtrack for Fate or something. <laughs> Which again, I have not interacted with. And I ain't gonna interact with it. <laughs> I'll play four visual novels, but not one of them is gonna be... This is where I came from. Shit! 
I'm gonna play four visual novels in the near future, and not one of them is gonna be fate. I'm specifically avoiding fate because I don't want to end up in another Danganronpa situation where I'm fucking trapped in this fucking franchise for years. And fate utterly dwarfs Danganronpa as a franchise. Love, love? Does it? I wanna know about that. Fate was something you really, really enjoyed when you got into it, but that was back when the only real entries were Stay, Zero, Tsukihime, Melty Blood, and Kagetsu Toya. Those are all Fate titles? <laughs> I thought those were connected insofar as they were written by the same dude. As you continue to expand in popularity, you fell off and couldn't be bothered to continue. Yeah. I, I think it's weird, right? Because there. You, on one hand, you want those things you find interesting to succeed and become popular so that they can continue to succeed and create new creative works. But at some point, a work gets so monolithic that it just kind of loses a bit of itself, I think. Would you agree with that? Now, oh, son of a bitch. I should have seen this coming. Oh, wait, it's just you. Get the hell out of here. Seriously? <laughs> Stay and Zero are a separate storyline slash roster. They have crossovers, but aren't directly related. Ugh. That shit must be a nightmare to keep track of. You think that's what happened to Resident Evil? But, like, Resident Evil's kind of been ubiquitous forever, though. Incredibly recommend the Karano Kyokai movie series for UFO table. Is Karano Kyokai the one that has Shiki? Is Shiki the girl, not Shiki the guy. I, I should have specified. So, but yeah, like I was saying about Resident Evil, I just. I think Resident Evil's been kind of monolithic for ages. And I wouldn't attribute that directly to, uh... You know... Village, or even Seven. I feel like Resident Evil crossed that threshold at four. Where it's like, everybody knows what Resident Evil is. Oh, and I should 
specify now that I'm referring to the original release of Resident Evil 4, not the remake. Where everything exploded in popularity. Those are two games that are, they just happen to share the Resident Evil title. I mean, for, as I understand it, as someone who's only played up to uh, three as the most recent entry, uh, it feels like Resident Evil is like the ship of Theseus when it when it comes to like what defines a Resident Evil game. franchise has undergone so many gradual changes with each consecutive entry that the identity of a Resident Evil game is completely different. <laughs> Even just looking at the difference between a couple of years. mind in so much as like I'm I'm squarely in the camp of does this game really need to be remade? was supposed to be a horror game initially, but it largely came into its own by shedding the horror aspect and embracing being a B-movie. Which I think it kind of did as early as 2, but that... In 2, it seemed like it was taken more seriously. From what I understand, 4 is when it was like, yeah, this is stupid, but we're having a good time. And 5 was, this is really stupid, but we're having a good time. The remake for one was, death, was done both chronologically closer and thematically closer to the Resident Evil. More of a remaster than a remake considering how close it was to the original style of play and tone. Okay, so my understanding is like... The, the first RE remake, the one that's on the GameCube and whatever, is more or less a straight rem remake of the original game it plays like the original game but is slightly polished and has new additions by contrast resident evil 2 and 3 remakes play more like the more modern games is that correct you think it's only recently with the uptick of horror as a genre that they try to go back to our spooky roots i think i think resident evil 7 and 8 look good not even counting the giant horny lady. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, where was I? Ah, uh, Yeah, I don't I don't think Capcom is making these Resident Evil remakes out of a sense of like yeah, these games deserve to be remade. I think it's like this is an opportunity for them to rebrand Resident Evil as something that it originally wasn't. And that's fine. They're a company. They're allowed to use their IP however they want. 
But if they decide to end up taking the Konami route of <laughs> Silent Hill Ascension, they have their everyone is within their rights to shit on on them for that. Yeah, Capcom to me does not feel like they especially love their IPs. Like, yeah, you're going to get a Street Fighter every so often. Hell, you might even get multiple of the same Street Fighter within a few years. But, like, I don't see them going up to bat for, like, I guess I'll say Dino Crisis. <laughs> have I seen Resident Evil 3.5? I have no idea what that is, so no. New style, not limited by the technology using modern play style. God knows you wouldn't play with tank controls in this day and age. I I think that's a personal preference thing. I don't think if you're making a game, I would rather you preserve as much of its original controls as possible. Like, yeah, you might not like tank controls, but like if if you, if it turns into a third person over the shoulder shooter game, then it's not really remaking the game, is it? Quite like how RE2 and 4 remakes played, but while there were definitely some tonal differences between 4 and 4 or R, they kept a lot of the wacky B-movies on this to contrast the horrific gore and parasite horror. I guess I'll have to see soon enough when I eventually play Resident Evil TM in 30 years. Also, if it means tank controls are sent directly to hell and never see the light of day again, I will choke you. <laughs> choke you from the light from your eyes. Look, I'm not gonna... <laughs> I'm not gonna go up to bat for fucking tank controls. I don't like tank controls all that much. Every time I play a new Silent... Sorry, not new Silent Hill game. Every time I would play a new Silent Hill game, I'd be like, Oh, yeah, hell yeah, it's time for more Silent Hill action. And then I'm like, oh, fuck, tank controls. <laughs> complains about tank controls to drive a car and my only response to that is well we're not playing fucking Gran Turismo are we <laughs> like I don't know about you but I don't like fucking moonwalk <laughs> and then do a full 180 <laughs> when I want to go backwards We should be coming up on floor 27? I genuinely don't know. <laughs> You're curious to know if modern tanks have tank controls. I, I'd assume they would, no? 
If tanks left tank controls behind, no one has any ground to stand on. Need to play the separate ways DLC for RE4. <laughs> Can I just say, what a fucking stupid acronym. <laughs> Rear. That reminds me specifically of Fear 3. Or as I like to call it, for three years. Oh man, you know what I was just thinking about? So like I mentioned earlier, I, I was using Instagram for the first time in a while, and I'm like, wow, this, fu this is fucking stupid. You know what they introduced a while back? They introduced this thing called Threads, which is blatantly Zuckerberg's attempt that, hey, people people don't like this Elon guy. <laughs> we, we should capitalize on that by making this fucking broken knockoff Twitter. <laughs> And I got invited to try it, and I looked at it and was like, this is the fucking worst thing I've ever seen in my fucking life. It's like using Twitter, but I haven't, like, removed... I haven't put in any of the precautions I normally put into place when browsing Twitter to avoid seeing fucking the worst shit you could ever see. Oh, hey, super tool. Now what will I cannibalize? I haven't run into a hard enough issue to really make a decision about this yet. back that there's codes to change Aya's outfit in the game. And I considered putting Aya in the dress for a bit, but I was like, nah, I'm not feeling it. I should really use my items a bit more often. That way I don't go into the boss fight with no fucking PE. but I think it's because of the games I've been playing recently. I've been really in the mood to uh, play a horror game. You know? Which is what I would have said if I was an idiot because I meant to say I want, I've been in the mood to watch a horror movie, not play a horror game. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
But I can't think of a particular horror movie that I've heard people talk about recently. Like, a, a few weeks ago, I was talking about how The Exorcist 5 came out. <laughs> or was it Exorcist 4? Exodus 4. Good to enjoy some Halloween for Shauna that I was wanted elsewhere. Also, I, I, I adore Shaun of the Dead, but it, it leans too much in the comedy direction for me to take it seriously as a horror movie. I mean, like, a straight-up horror movie. Horror. Horror. Horror movie. Yeah. Shout out that that's a great time. It used to be a, a, a basically yearly ritual for me and my bro to watch it. I still think it's, uh. I was gonna say Simon Pegg's best movie. It's not. I mean, it could be Simon Pegg's best movie. Quap, you got tapped for something and you need to know a good audio recording editing program that costs nothing. Uh, Audacity? <laughs> like, what, what is it exactly that they, they need you to do? They want you to do? Hormones and death threats. First one of those porn mods. <laughs> Hell yeah, keep keep me updated, man. Yeah, you can use Audacity. Audacity is very basic. It'll it'll check for which uh, your default recording device is. Uh, it'll basically use your defaults. It'll be like, okay, this is your microphone. This is your speaker. Uh, and you can basically just hit the record button and, and go. There's some basic filters that you could use theoretically, but I think that's not necessarily going to help you with your audio issues. Although for a porn game, I really doubt they are going to care if <laughs> about like acoustics <laughs> and background noise all that much. It's some barks and one word command. <laughs> I can't believe there's going to be a recording of fur out there just going, Yes, mistress. <laughs> oh, damn it! I've been deceived! <laughs> Phantasm 1 was great. What is a horror movie? Because most of the off the top of your head lean hard on the disgust, shock of gore, and aren't scared, just kind of nauseating. Hmm. I guess as far as my personal tastes are concerned, the most recent movie I've watched that I would qualify as a horror movie is Skinnamarink. Although that one's kind of surreal. It just it makes me feel unsettled. I think... For me, for a horror movie to actually be scary... It can't just be shock value. It has to scare you viscerally in a way that like leaves you afraid after the movie's over. Oh, for it, it's that mod. I think you were talking about that to me earlier. Okay. Now <laughs> you voice a boss monster. Great. Can't wait to play Darkest Dungeon for the first time and have it be the fucking mod where first got his, his thing out. He's pulling his dick out. And he's telling me to obey. Oh, 
Ohey! That is the most efficient use of Q3. Oh shit, it happened. <laughs> My controller got disconnected. That Bluetooth connection though. Let's go. Oh, it's doing it again. Woo! Yeah, baby. Now we're gonna forcefully uh, hang on for dear life with the wire. <laughs> Listen, if Fur became a voice actor, I would do everything in my power to spread the greatness of Fur's voice around because he deserves all the success in the world. Although it would be really funny if I were to act as his manager and show his resume to people and be like, yeah, that's right, that's that guy from that porn mod. <laughs> Impressed, aren't you? The mod will be out on the Steam Workshop, but it's going to be a few months because there's other projects in the pipeline. And the dick having would be a separate pitch. You wouldn't be able to tell. It's going to have effects on it. <laughs> I can identify fur from a sewer. Oh, you fucked. <laughs> I think I would like to involve myself You know what, my goal in the next year Is to involve myself in stupid projects like that Sorry, silly projects like that Just because it's something I'm not into doesn't mean it's stupid I'm trying to be nice. But it's also stupid. <laughs> Cure and prevent poison? Who the hell needs that? I have a super tool. You want to convince your friends to start a podcast? <sighs> Sorry, I, j I just imagined what, what a podcast with lock on would sound like. <laughs> Oh, dear God. <laughs> Chaos, but it's... it's okay. <laughs> Nice voice crack, well. But it's chaos pronounced by um, JP Jack Garland. Chaos. Also, what is this? Let's take a look at you. What, are you. what do you do, sir? <laughs> Quick draw. That's... You know, in hindsight, that doesn't sound very useful. Isn't uh, JP Jack Garland voiced by Kenji Tsuda? <laughs> if I remember right, he's the, the Japanese voice for Seto Kaiba. In fact, I'm pretty sure that's the same dude who voices uh, Andy in Undead Unluck. Which, by the way, I'm going to say... I was not expecting that show to be as good as it is. <laughs> like, I wouldn't say it 
it's as, uh, what's the word? Poignant? As Firin? But... It's still a very good time. I don't particularly give a shit about any of the characters except for, you know, the two main characters, but, you know, it's good stuff. It's good stuff. I think this is floor 29. Oh. Oh, thank God. I thought Lachlan was going to say something else. Yes, lock on. You, you have lovingly conditioned me. I don't even know if that's a word that is used correctly. But you did it. You did it. You sons of bitches. I, I guess I'll just use these tools. Fifty five, sixty one, thirty. Would it be better to eat the blind resistance from the jacket or have the jacket eat the plus stats from the SP suit? What do you guys think? There's also the SP suit, which gives me more inventory space. You can see me stealing myself from the cringe. I steal myself from the cringe every day, lock on. Raw stats are usually superior, blind and circumstantial. Well, here's the thing. The, uh... The jacket has better stats. Arguably, than SP suit. The SP suit has a base stat of 58, 52, 29. But the jacket has base stats of 55, 61, and 30. So I would technically be losing out on defense. If I just ate the... If I use, if I equipped the jacket but ate the bonus stats from the equipment I currently have, right? What has more slots? That would be the uh, SV suit one. Which has lower base stats. Eh, questions to consider. Probably better to steal blind. All right. Well, uh, sorry. What I, the, what I was describing it as, like... They have comparable base stats. At worst, I would be losing three base defense points. If I switched to the jacket and just ate this thing's plus marks, because it has no bonuses. So I could just equip the blue the the bee jacket 
and use a regular tool to eat the raw, to eat the bonus points from the SP suit. Because again, they have comparable stats. Eh, I still got time to think about it. More slots means lots of things to put in it. I mean, I'd have to find the things that I could put in it first. So it's not an immediate pressing thing. You can always play the story right before the end to get the materials if I want to. I don't think I'm going to do that. Already here. This should be floor 30, I think. I could be off by one. Hopefully, I'm not off by two because I feel like an idiot. Oh, this is going to be good. oatmeal cookies and for some reason they came out with a real thick cake-like texture and lost flavor. That might have something to do with the fact that apple butter is pretty sweet and thick. Thank you, Aya. It's always been my dream to be one of those. Oh, that reminds me. I have the materials to prepare that steak with wine, but I have not done it yet. I am a little nervous. of this floor is going to be. <laughs> I think they've all been reskinned so far. Also, I think we're here already. Maybe. No, we're not. We're almost there. And 
There we go. That's a level up. At this point, I wonder, do I just dump the rest of my bonus points into the gun's attack stat? Because I think I'm good on range at this point. Or do I dump some into defense? Is that even worth it? You know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. Yeah, baby. Let's <laughs> increase that shit by 47 points. This gun's gonna be fucking insane by the time I'm at the top of the tower. I feel like this is starting to go a lot more smoothly than my previous attempt. Let's go to the right and see what happens. I feel like it's gonna be a dead end. It's not a dead end, it's the room with all the secret shit. Fuck. I don't trust Mimics anymore. What do you do, sir? Critical percentage increases. Damn it, Lock on, how old are you? <laughs> oh, shit, we're here. <laughs> okay. I've got two medicines, one revive, and I can always armor swap. In the famous words of professional wrestler Brock Lesnar, you're here, I'm here, let's do this! What the f- oh. Wait! Hear that thing from Final Fantasy X! Oh, that's not good. <laughs> I wasn't expecting 
gonna just do that? Fuck! <laughs> Don't worry everyone, I have I have a re resurrection thingy. Please stop attacking me. Oh. Son of a bitch! <laughs> My wordy fucking hurts. What happens if I go for the fucking wee ball option? Wait, I just realized it's gonna split apart! It's that boss! Huh, shit. <laughs> we might we might be in trouble. My fucking god. Wait, I'm blinded too? got comboed. slightly faster I would have been able to actually pull that off
Here comes that boy. Why is it so fucking... <laughs> ah! Wait, shit, I got res! I'm so fucking dead. not gonna do shit there. I have no idea what you think it's gonna do. I'm sorry, that fucking hit me twice. Also, I've been crippled by RNG. Yeah, okay, fine. This is what FF14 raids feel like. <laughs> Do the mechanics, Quip! Alright, fuck you. Just eat my entire ass.
Oh, please. Not like this. Oh my fucking god! I hate this! And fuck that, I'm just loading. Fuck <laughs> That run is a lost cause. Fuck it. Oh, are you on God? thought I had enough damage to kill it then. But I guess not. Fuck! Okay. <laughs> I just wanted to stop. Not be fucking serious. Great. <laughs> what the fuck is my fucking luck here? It sucks. <laughs>
Okay. You're fucking... I'm sorry to believe there's no hope, everyone. Finally dead. <laughs> oh, that fucking sucked. That's 30 floors. We're not even halfway. Remember when I still had optimism? I mean, it's it's seven twenty three. <laughs> I could. <laughs> I'm gonna get reamed by everything that I come across right now. You dare challenge me, lock on, I'll fucking destroy you, you fucking gnat. I will eat you. <laughs> Oh no, walk on, you cursed my fucking internet. Why did you do this to me? I can't believe you, man. Hey, seriously, those, those, uh, those bits are dropping. That bit rate's dropping. Come on. 
I still believe. Come on, come on, come on, please. No! It's fighting for its life, everyone. <laughs>